Hello, you're watching a tutorial uh, where I'm going to show you how to build a small Android app. So, uh, I hope you have installed Android Studio and uh, set up the virtual machine or the emulator. So, uh, you're going to start a new project by clicking here. Um, you can add here the application name, we're going to leave it as it is. The company domain, we're going to leave it as it is. Uh, this is important if you want to put your app on the Play Store, but uh, because this is a tutorial, it doesn't pretty much matter what you're going to put. And last but not least, you're going to put here uh, the location where your application is going to be um, put. Uh, this is the minimum SDK. So the minimum uh, device that's going to support uh, this application is a Android 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich and that covers about uh, approximately 100% of devices so leave it as it is, click next uh, if it isn't, click empty activity and click next don't change any, any of this I mean you could give it another name but because keeping it simple we're just gonna leave it as it is and this is going to maybe take some uh, time for the application to be built. Okay, the application uh, has been built. Uh, if you've just installed Android Studio, you might not see these little toolbars. Click this bottom left icon and they'll show up. We have this little project button and we have this little um, pull down button. Uh, the most important is you put here Android and two files are going to, folders are going to show up. One of them is app, that's the most important one. As you see, um, Android Studio gave us two files. One is a Java file called mainactivity.java and its corresponding layout, the activity uh, main.xml. So we can find them by going to app, Java, and this first package file. By the way, the package file is the name of your company dot uh, the name of the application. And here it is. Uh, the layout file is in resources layout. So let's first take a look at this. We're going to double click or you could click here. Um, this is the XML file. This pretty much looks uh, like an HTML file. Uh, so technically you could take these uh, text views and uh, pull them right here, uh, drag them, use the constraint uh, view. But I'm going to use the linear uh, uh, linear layout and I'm going to type all of the uh, code here in the XML file uh, okay the first thing is um, delete these two uh, you just click on it and press delete now we're going to go here in the text uh, I'm not going to use constraint I'm going to use linear layout. So just like in HTML, um, most tags uh, have an opening tag and a closing tag. Uh, here in the opening tag you got some attributes and uh, here you can put some elements here. Uh, to uh, see what we are doing you can click this little button, preview. Okay. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add another attribute here. Uh, that attribute will ensure that uh, when we add a new element, the first one's going to be here, and the second one's going to be under it, the third one's going to be under that one. And that's orientation. So it's Android, comma, orientation, ver vertical. Uh, we're going to add the first view here, it's going to be a text view. So I'm going to type text view a V and then the tab button to autocomplete 
I'm gonna give it a 100% width uh, by typing match parent or just uh, with your cursors uh, select match parent and click tab. Here we're going to say something like 50 dp. Now uh, as you can see this is that text view. If we click here it's not visible. We're gonna add some text just to make it visible. Uh, we're gonna type uh, text and then just tab. And then let's say test string. Um, I want to center. I actually want to uh, center uh, this text. Uh, so I'm going to use the gravity. So not the layout gravity, but the gravity here. And I'm going to say center. And now it's centered. I'm going to pull this a little bit, uh, give it a little bit of room between this toolbar and this text view. So I'm going to say margin top and give it 20 dp so as you see there's a little bit of room here uh, to be able to reference that text view here in this java file uh, we're gonna have to use some kind of id um, uh, you have to write this at plus id slash give it a name usually it's something and then the name of the view I'm gonna add it a uh, name text view. Uh, one more thing, uh, the activity main XML file is to uh, make the style of this uh, uh, of this screen to style the screen. This thing uh, provides the functionality. Okay, the next one is an edit text. So click tab to autocomplete. We're gonna give it. Uh, mash parent and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger another thing uh, I don't want it to be that big so I'm gonna give it a margin at the left side and the right side and then again margin okay um, I'm gonna give it also an ID and I'm gonna say something like enter edit text um, and the last thing is a button uh, we're gonna say okay uh, 150 dp and I'm gonna give it a height of 80 dp um, now technically we could have said uh, I want to I want to now um, center this thing. We're gonna use uh, layout gravity and say center. Um, and I want to give it the text and I'm gonna say submit. Now we used uh, some kind of a only gravity here. Um, the difference between layout gravity and just gravity is uh, that okay we type this nothing changed but actually if we type left you can see this text uh, went to the left side so just the gravity pushes this left pushes this right up down center this thing here on the other hand centers it here okay there's one more thing I want to add it's an on click uh, so uh, what our app is going to do, we're going to type here something, click submit, and that something is going to show up here. Uh, but at this point, if we do that, nothing is going to show up because we don't have the functionality uh, to say, okay, on a click of this button, call this functionality. that functionality will be defined here so we got a public class main activity that inherits from app compact activity uh, this is one of the methods contained inside the class this method is called um, each time this main activity starts so the code starts executing from this here the first one calls the uh, method on create of this class and the second one puts uh, this thing as the layout of this activity. 
Now we need one more method. Public. Its visibility is uh, beyond this class, so it's visible in other classes. Void. Method does not return anything. We said we're going to give it a print name. And it has to take one parameter of type view. We're going to... Okay, uh, red letters and underline. Press Alt Enter to import that class. Um, we can click here, right click and split vertically. Click text and um, click preview to uh, collapse this. Okay, print name. How are we going to do it? Uh, first thing, we need to reference this. So we create an object of type edit text. We're going to call it the same as the ID. Uh, we're going to say, okay, uh, take this method and find in this layout uh, this resource. Okay, the problem is this thing is an end text and this method returns a view. So we have to cast it. So just like in C and C++, this is how you cast it. Now we're going to uh, pull the information out of it. Uh, we're going to get the text. And actually, uh, we're going to create a, a string called name and initialize it with this get text. Problem is, this is going to return editable. And this is a string. So we have to convert it into a string. Uh, now we have to get the text view. Uh, we're going to call it now the same thing. Um, we're going to find it. Uh, okay, name text view. And we're going to just uh, call the method to set the text to this little string here. And that's about it. Our app should work now. We're going to start the emulator. Okay, uh, the app has loaded, and now if we type something and click submit, it's going to show up here. Okay, that was the small tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, see you next time. Bye.